Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing look number three from my Halloween series. Today's look is the Gemini look. I'm super excited with how this one turned out because I was kind of, I was struggling a lot with planning this one, but I'm really happy with how it came out. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I already primed my lids and set my brow bones with a little bit of light powder. I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Volume 1 palette. I'm going to start off by going into the shade D1 right here and just putting that on my outer corner. And then on that same brush, I'm going to dip into just a little bit of E3, just to deepen up the outer corner just a little bit because I want to keep this as yellow as possible, but I do want a little bit more dimension out there. Next up, I'm going to go into the Norvina Volume 3 palette and I'm going to go into the shade E4 right here and just start using that to blend out the crease shade. And then I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and go into the yellow shade No Joke right here and just pack that onto my lid. Now I'm gonna go back into the Norvina Volume 3 palette and go into the shade E1 and start packing that on the outer corner of my other eye. Now I'm going to dip into the Norvina Volume 2 palette and I'm going to go into the shade B3 and use that to blend out. And then sticking in the Norvina Volume 2 palette, I'm going to go into the shade B1 and pack that all over my lid. Really quick, I just went into the Norvina Volume 3 palette and went into the shade A4 and put that over my lid instead because the other one was like a little bit patchy and it was also like starting to crease. Super easy, super basic start to the look. I am going to jump off and I'm going to actually be doing a double wing, which I haven't done in like five or six years, so I'm a little nervous about it. But basically just going to flick it out and then flick it out once on top of that. So there will be two wings. They're going to be pretty big wings. And I'm going to do my base off of camera and then we'll be back to continue working on this look. I'm going to go in with some contour and bronzer. I'm going to do another kind of stronger contour and then some really good bronzing actions. I'm going to go in with the Essence Contouring Duo. I'm also going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and then the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a tiny little brush and I'm going to dip into A1 and use that to start lining underneath my eye. And then I'm going to dip into B2 on a slightly bigger brush, just a pointed blending brush. And then slightly bigger brush into the shade A4 and blend it all out. And then I'm going to take whatever's left over on the blending brush that I used earlier 
and just use that to make sure everything out here is nice and seamless. All right, wiped off all my brushes, back into that same flat brush. I'm gonna go into the shape E3. We're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And then into the shade E4 right here to start blending that out. And then back into the Jaclyn Hill palette into No Joke just to finish blending it out. And then for blush, I'm gonna go into the BH Cosmetics Glowing in Grease palette and I'm going to use the shade Mykonos. And then also really quick, gonna go into the Essence Pure Nude and just use that to bring a little bit of life back to my skin. For highlight, I'm gonna go into Ofra Rodeo Drive and also Wet n Wild. This is a loose, one of their loose highlighters. It's like their light champagne gold. This is from last year's Halloween collection. I don't know if this is gonna be re-released this year, but they have a lot of their light champagne-y gold loose highlights. So I know that there's a permanent one that looks really, really similar to this. jump off and finish up my eyes put on some brows some lashes stuff like that I will be back to keep working on this look because we're not quite done yet before I do my lips I want to put on some rhinestones so I got this pack of rhinestones from Amazon I think yeah Amazon it's just like a bunch of different styles of rhinestones and then I got this little like rhinestone applicator from Amazon as well. It has like a wax tip, which makes it easier to pick up the rhinestone and just plop it on. And then it's got like a little pokey end to, I don't know, poke it on. The little rhinestone applicator is definitely not necessary. You could use tweezers if you're comfortable with that. It is pretty hard to like grasp down on the rhinestone without it like popping out. Another thing that I have done in the past is take a popsicle stick and light a candle for a couple minutes and then just dip the, like blow out the candle and then dip the popsicle stick into the candle wax and it works the same as this. I just wanted something that was permanent, I guess, longer lasting than a stick dipped in candle wax. And then the best way to apply rhinestones is with lash glue. I like to use um, brush on lash glue with a little brush tip. That's the easiest way, especially for rhinestones. But you just dot it where you want it. You give it a couple seconds to get tacky the same way that you would with false lashes. And then you just plop it on. You make sure you poke it in and it stays put. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and we'll put on some rhinestones. So I kind of ended up abandoning this thing after I got them on the inner corner because it, the rhinestones that I bought already have sticky bases to them. So it was getting really hard for this to like pick it up. I don't know if I need to warm this up a little bit or something because it didn't, it, I had to work to get these two to stick to it. And I even left like some wax behind on them. So the other ones are not as evenly placed, but you know. And then last but not least for lips, I'm going to go with a nude lip just this look calls for a nude lip. It does not call for a black lip or 
uh, some crazy color. So I'm just gonna go in with LA Girl Nonstop Nude and then NYX Shout Loud Satin Lipstick in a la mode. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I had a lot of fun doing this one. It's definitely a more wearable look than my previous two and definitely a lot more wearable than some of the other looks that I have planned. I struggled for some reason planning this look and the rhinestones were kind of like a last minute decision. I'm not mad at them. They're not the most even thing in the world, but they're pretty cute. I kind of like how they're flipped too. It's It makes it a little bit something different. But I feel like something between like Gemini and like a flower queen. If you are a Gemini, comment down below and tell me how I did. If you're not a Gemini, comment down below and tell me what your sign is because I'm super curious to know. I also can't wait to see how your reaction is to your own sign. So with that being said, that is going to wrap everything up for me today. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. I have another 11, yeah, 11. I have another 11 Halloween videos to go. So definitely subscribe, like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.